Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and on this video, we're going to be reviewing, unboxing, and installing the Kuga Master Hyper 212 RGB. That's a mouthful. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I ended up getting this mainly because I was actually building a computer for someone. And even though I um, did this the other day and you haven't seen the video yet, and actually you should have, because I'm gonna do all these videos in a row. Um, we took some parts that we had left over and we were gonna build out a computer with a new 3200G, um, new hard drive, Samsung SSD, 860 Evo, 500 gigabyte, 700 watt thermal take power supply, and we're using a Biostar X370 GTN because it was a motherboard that I had sitting around here that works perfectly fine, and got 16 gigabytes of memory and built out an entire system. Um, I actually was using a Corsair H60 AIO, um, but I'm just feeling a little bit uncomfortable about having an AIO in another client system. I don't mind having water cooler um, cooling in mine. Um, I, I guess just, it's just a confidence type of thing. I don't want this to be given to somebody else. So we're going to be using a traditional air cooler in that system. So we're going to be switching that out and maybe they'll have some fun because it has some RGB lighting in there. And we're just going to open this up and see what's all in it, okay? All right, so let's see what's all in here. Excuse my messy desk here. Let's see. Oop. Let me see that. All right, uh, box of mounting tools and the fan itself and this is this thing is huge all right so I guess the main concern with this is am I gonna clear the memory slots because that was the reason why I ended up going with the AIO on that motherboard in the first place so Pretty straightforward here. Let's get this out of here. All the mounting stuff. I really hope I don't have to pull up the whole motherboard to get hooked this thing up. And I had already opened this, so here's the manual. Warranty. Now let's see. That's for okay. That clip is for the Intel processors. Now I did check to make sure that this is for AM4. Darn it, Beavis! I do need to put this on here for the AM4. All right. So I'm gonna have to pull this whole thing up and go from there. So. Let's pull the system out and let's get to redoing this thing all over again. <laughs> So <laughs> this stinks. The cooler is too tall for the case. <sighs> so, um, and I already ordered the memory. 
So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, probably gonna have to just go back with this uh, cooler here. I want to see if the original AMD one will fit, but I think it's just because it's too big. That was the problem. So let me undo all of this and let me see if I can take this back to the store. All right, so I couldn't return the cooler back to Best Buy because it got the stuff on it. And what I was able to do is actually fit the original. Um, I wish I had known this <laughs> before I did this at my church, um, but we've since changed this. When we were using this system, I couldn't fit the CPU in there because it was blocking one of the memory slots. And then I saw on one of these other videos that you can actually remove the top shroud on the cooler, the stock cooler. And now I have room for the memory. So I put the original 32G cooler on this processor and for this system that I'm building for some folks. So this is good. What I'm going to do is take this system and put, I mean, the cooler that I just bought, and I'm going to put this on my brother-in-law's computer that I have that I was going to be working on anyway. This was the original 2200G that I did a while ago for a live streaming system. So that's what I'm going to be switching out so we can still use this processor. I mean, CPU cooler. <laughs> Got some red in there. Now let's go ahead and mess with these buttons here. All right, just turning the color down. Got some max brightness. What's this one do? Change the color. All right, and then it's beeping, breathing. Cycling through all the colors, beeping again. All right, and that's solid. So there's no way to turn it completely off except for just unplug the power, but I will leave that up to my brother-in-law to the side. So this looks like works pretty well and everything started up. I don't have to plug it up into a monitor to make sure everything is fine, but I think we're good to go. So for $40, this isn't a bad, um, this isn't a bad cooler in comparison. And make sure you don't put your hand in there close enough to nick it. I was just trying to feel the air. But anyway, that's it. That is, again, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. So I will leave a link in the description for those who are interested in this cooler. And again, it fits pretty much all coolers. It fits from um, sockets. It was fitting from... Um, an AM2 all the way to AM4 and a bunch of Intel ones. Um, the Intel ones I'm not that familiar with, so just make sure you look it up, make sure it matches before you try and buy it. But anyway, I hope you like this type of content. If you do, I appreciate it. Like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and do some other builds and stuff like that and product reviews. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.